Welcome back. This video will mostly be a practice session using topics that we've already covered, but we'll also introduce some small new things like uh, adding lag between activities and using relationships that are not finished to start. Um, a practice session is different than a challenge in that you're shown the solution before you actually do the uh, application. I highly recommend that you watch the entire video without trying to replicate and then stop the video and try to do it all from start to finish on your own. And if you can't do that, then refer back to the video. So let's start. In this exercise, we're going to be working with the piles. So I'm going to unload everything. Now I have this already in a way that I can work with, but if not, it's always a good idea to right click collapse all and then gradually expand. And here we're going to be working with the columns. So the piles here are modeled as columns. These are actually piles. I'm not going to be working with the top columns, so I'll just box select those and from the 3D ribbon, unload. Now be careful, even though they're unloaded, these are still selected, so hit the escape key to deselect. Then I'm going to go to the schedule and find the activity for those piles. So under construction, under site construction, there's structural piles and that's 20 days. Then I'm going to use an appearance profile for those piles. So I can go to appearance profiles and create one based on slab. So if you right click on slab and click add, it starts with an exact copy of slab. You can call this piles. And then I can drag this outwards. So it's not a child of slab and then simply change the color. And I'll use a brown color like that. Now, if you assign all of those piles to this activity over here, then I'm going to use Control Shift A. Then if you notice what happens is that they don't grow as a group. Each one of these piles individually grows from left to right. And we don't really want that. Now you can use the resource groups for that. However, this is a bit uh, advanced for this tutorial. We're going to use just actual resources. So I'm going to unassign those and I'm going to use the feature we covered, which is the resource wizard, to regroup those resources as one element. However, I'm not going to do this for all of the piles. I'm going to do this in section. So I'll box select this area over here, Control shift r for the resource wizard, or right-click resource wizard. I'm going to be using Control shift r and then assign to a new resource and call that piles01. Now, this is not an equipment resource, this is a material resource, so be sure to click that and hit next. We're going to choose the least details, so the topmost option, so that they're treated as one resource. You have to unassign them from existing resources, we'll do that. And then I'm going to use pile 2. In this case, I'm going to use the control key to box select, and that will flip the selection. We covered that in an earlier video. Then control shift R, assign to a new resource and call that piles 02. And then I'm going to use the control key again to select the rest of the piles while flipping the selection. And then control shift R, assign to a new resource, piles 3. Now this step is optional right after this. Um, we can go to the resources tab and we can right click collapse all, and we'll notice that piles 1, 2, 3 are outside of our project. Now we can create a new material resource, right click add, call that piles, then drag and drop piles 1, 2, 3 in there, just holding the shift key and dragging and drop. And then you can drag piles into structural. Now that we've grouped those resources, I can select one element from each resource in the order that I want them to be built. So let's say one, three, two, and then right click, create tasks under selected tasks. We've covered that in the model based scheduling introduction video. And then click yes. And we'll see this 20 day activity divided into six, six, eight in the order we clicked on. And then each resource is growing as a group rather than each individual pile. 
The final thing I want to cover in this video is working with relationships that are not finished to start. So you could have changed this before linking the activities, before the creating the tasks, but I'm just going to change it from task properties. So let's say piles one and three are not going to be finished to start. I can go to task properties under links, choose the predecessor and change this from finish to start to start to start. However, I'm going to add a lag of three days. And if I reschedule now, I can go to plan and then reschedule or reschedule selected if it's only for a group. Let's do reschedule selected. And then now we can see it from the bars over here that piles one starts and then three days later piles three starts. And if we scrub through the focus time, we can see that in our 3D view. Now we've covered a lot of things in this practice session. We've created new tasks using bottle-based scheduling. We've created, regrouped some resources. We've created a new appearance profile and we've edited some of the relationships between some tasks and added some lag. So make sure to practice all of those concepts and refer back to this video if you're stuck. And the next video will be a challenge where we'll create a full schedule based entirely on the model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.